That right there takes the day one lead. New leaders from Drury University. Way to go, there's your first place team. Welcome back out to McFarland Park on the shores of Pickwick Lake for the 2021 Pickwick Slam. The Association of Collegiate Anglers last major event before the championship this season. We had a great day one. Six limits over 20 pounds. Anglers just flat out caught them. A lot of the anglers up at the tail race, we hinted at it in that first episode, but they capitalized on it in your leaders from the University of Montevallo, James Willoughby and Chan Schwartz catching over 24 pounds of smallmouth bass. Awesome, awesome fish catching action on day one. I mean, what a phenomenal bag. But that's Pick Week showing out for you in the springtime. It shows out in the spring, it shows out in the summer, it shows out in the fall, it shows out in the winter. It's just a great fishery. And those guys dominated it. But looking behind them, there's some hammers that are, that are just nipping at their heels. And this is a two-day event. You got to back it up. We finished with a good sack yesterday. We're leading it right now. I'm just hoping that we can repeat it. Maybe I just want to go up there and hopefully they're biting. We're in third place this morning. I think uh, we're about a little less than two pounds out. So uh, I know the guys in first and second, they're both fishing up there with us. Um, we're fishing at the tail races at Wilson Dam. So uh, hopefully we can just get the right bites today and maybe uh, pull away with this thing, I hope. Great day of fishing, phenomenal action out on Pickwick Lake as we expected coming into this event. Today, however, weather conditions are gonna change. Yesterday, we saw a lot of smallmouth caught in cloudy conditions. Today, it's gonna be clear, and that's the type of weather where smallmouth really thrive, where the sun's shining, there's no clouds in the sky. Could it be even better today as they embark on day two? Anything's possible in fishing. You know, somebody's always gonna catch them, number one. And that's the thing, as a tournament angler, you have to keep in mind that you may have a big lead, but somebody behind you is gonna figure them out, and are, are you gonna struggle? So, on pick week, anything is always possible. However, the low pressure's gone, High pressure starting to roll in, and historically, when you get you know in post frontal conditions, the bite gets tougher. So those easy fish are harder to catch. You've also one day into a tournament, a lot of people have hooked a lot of fish in there. Your boat order is different. Is somebody going to beat you to your spot? Your rotations get off. I mean, it's tournament fishing. It's going to change. Been a little nervous, feeling good. Um, it was a good day yesterday, but I know that where we're fishing, there's a lot of boats, and um, I just hope we can get up there and get in our spot and get get situated. Feeling pretty good. I mean, conditions are totally different from yesterday. There's a lot of fluctuation, made this fish pull up, push off. Today, we just gotta read the conditions. Hopefully, we can get on them and make the, make the right decision. When they came across the weigh-in stage yesterday, talking to several of the anglers, you could tell kind of when and where they were catching their fish. And there's a group of them, they're in the top 10 right now, that caught their fish at the tail race in the morning. There's another group in the afternoon wave. We saw it as we sat at the park. The boats started coming in as others left. There's a whole different group of anglers that caught them at the tail race as well in the afternoon. When they show up today, they could say, hey, we're going to dedicate all of our eggs to one basket and fish the tail race all day. There's going to be some teams seeing boats up there that think they're poaching the area, but they caught fish in the same place and they were just there at different times. It's a community hole. That's the first thing you have to understand about a tail race is there's going to be a lot of boats there. Not only tournament boats, but other people that are on a, it's a you know, weekend recreational aspect. You're going to have a lot of traffic up there. Your lines are also going to change, and by that I mean the current is probably going to be a little less today, and that's going to change the positions. The guy to your left may catch them better than the guy to the right, and it's, it's going to be real interesting how that plays out. And it's also a mental game. When you fish in big crowds like that, a lot of times anglers can spin out because they see them catching them and they're not. Well, your time may come an hour, two hours, or three hours from there. So you just gotta stay focused, concentrate on what you're doing good, concentrate on what you know's work, block out the distraction. Well, we just caught one pretty early. Came up here, there's a lot more people up here than yesterday, that's for sure. We were we were sitting in there, we were about to blast off and it looked like three quarters of the Gee, big. When we were going to blast off, it looked like three quarters of the field came up here, so we were just hoping we can get on a spot. But we got on one of our holes. I don't know, everybody's on something. Okay. Yeah. Might not be a small man. Yeah, yeah it is too. Keep him on, keep him on. Be easy, be easy. Be easy with her. Don't, don't let her jump if you can. Come on, baby. 
Oh, my bad. I'm not, I didn't mean to hit you with that big old lift. Gotta get out there so we don't move. I'll take care of it. Good job, bud. There's two. There's no feeling like it. When you prep the gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now there's only one thing left to do. Keep fishing. So gear up with all the best fishing gear. Only at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Shop in store or online. When there's miles of water in front of you and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. You have a full-time job and you want to be a full-time angler. Don't waste time scouting. You want to catch fish. That's where Garmin comes in. Our mapping with Navionics data lets you see more detail than the fish do. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, and our industry-leading live sonar is so crisp and clear you'll think you jumped in. You're welcome. Now if only we had a powerful, efficient, whisper-quiet trolling motor. Actually, we do. It's called Force. We knew you'd like that. Less time finding, more time catching fish. Only with Garmin. Here on day two at the Pickwick Slam in Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama, we're seeing a lot of fish catching happening out there. One thing that we might need to look out for though is do we expect someone to back up these 22, 24 pound weights from day one with a similar weight here on day two? Or is there a chance that, man, if you can get to 40 pounds, even if you drop off a little bit from day one, that's gonna be the benchmark to find success when you cross the stage this evening? I think we've seen historically at Pickwick, if you can back up a, a 24 pound sack on day one with another 20 pound limit, you're gonna do very well at the end of the day. Will that be enough to win this one? It remains to be seen, you know, because there's so many variables this being an early spring event, the current changing, the high pressure changing. You know, a lot of times on day two, you know, you can say, hey, let's take one or two pounds off of yesterday's catch, and if we can get there, we're going to be fine. We've got a great chance. Pickwick, yeah, sometimes this thing's full of big fish. Anything can happen, but when the high pressure rolls in and the media attention gets a little tighter, people get nervous, and that can cause them to make bad decisions. The, the standings can flip-flop but I'll be interested to see who can overcome all this. You're good, you're good. They gotta be 15, right? 15. Oh yeah. Number one. They'll just slowly reload throughout the day. When we caught all those yesterday, we'd come in here, catch a four pounder, circle back out, let it sit for a couple minutes, circle back in, catch another big one. It's just gotta reset. And that water's dropped a little bit. So they're gonna be set up in different spots. That one was set up in a spot that we didn't catch one yesterday, so might be a new spot. They gonna turn on at some point. At some point we gonna catch them. Oh boy, over there's got one. I don't know if it's a bass or not. Uh, he's digging up like a bass. Every time you get bitten, then it's a bass. Yeah. It ain't that big. So deep, probably. <coughs> Catching more small ones today than yesterday. But you just gotta weave through them. Two and a half pounders. What? Two and a half pounders, sir. So. You gotta start somewhere, James. We had one of those in there yesterday, so. We had what? We had one of those in there yesterday when we started. Hey, gotta start somewhere. My head. Don't like a lot. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, but another keeper, it ain't a big one. Oh, okay, there we go. That's why I'm using that right there, boys. 
That'll be 15 inches. 16. It's number three. It's a bass. Oh, is it? It's a bass. Biggin? Good one. Good deal. I'm giant. Better than nothing. Hey, two pounds. Gotta start somewhere, boys. Ladies and gentlemen. These fish weigh so heavy. <laughs> weigh more than what you think? Oh yeah. Well, that one weigh 246. Good lord. Babies. Number four right there. They gotta get a little bit bigger. Four for four pounds, probably. The Yamaha VMAX V6 SHO continues to deliver the level of performance that pro bass and multi-species anglers demand. Underneath a bold and aggressive new look, an upgraded charging system with 40% more charging power meets the amped up demand for today's advanced electronics. The VMAX SHO, raw power, reliability, and exhilarating performance for every angler who loves the sport enough to invest in the best. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. No matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. As a professional angler, you've got so many things on your mind. Any advantage that we have is key. And not only rods and reels and lines and baits, but in our clothes. And the guys at AFCO, I mean, they have something for every situation. There's nothing AFCO hasn't thought about with the fishermen in mind. It's designed for fishermen, by fishermen, for every scenario you can come to. Any fish, any water, any condition, AFCO has you covered. Up for grabs this week is over $30,000 in prizes and contingencies, double points towards the best pro shop school of the year presented by Abu Garcia, and an additional five places to qualify automatically for the 2021 championship at Lake Murray. What's on the, at stake this week? There's a lot. There's we, can, a lot. we could break down each one of those and have something to talk about, but these anglers out there, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot on the line for a free college tournament. They've got to be pretty pleased with what's at stake this week. There's so many things that go into the Association of Collegiate Anglers, and there always has our prize and the feed and the food we feed them, everything else. So, I mean, that, that's what makes it fun and that's why we started doing this years ago. We like to see that and the, the smiles and anticipation, but it's also about school pride. That's one of the biggest things I've noticed over the last few years, how intense that it's become in this school of the year race and how much they want to win and what it means to their careers for the, those that are trying to press forward. So it's a big day, a lot on the line, a lot of pressure for a lot of guys that have never been in this situation. And that's part of the evolution of being a tournament an angler, whether you're a high school kid trying to be a college angler, a college angler wanting to go pro, or a weekend angler wanting to take the next step, it's understanding how to deal with this. You've got media attention at a high level at these events, fully televised. There's live coverage going on. I mean, there's going to be some spinning out going on, but all these kids are going to be rewarded when it's over. Huh? He may be big, big. I don't know. Is it a bass? I don't know. I think so. Oh, come on, baby. That's what we needed right there. Yeah, well, at least we have a limit. Three thirty. We'll see out in the current too. Yeah, he's in the same spot. Dealing with boat traffic. People are coming up here, getting in spots. Yeah. There's it's a lot more boats up here than there was yesterday. Most of the people are sitting on the places we caught all our fish that we weighed in yesterday. So, kind of expected some people to leave soon. Getting later in the day, but 
I don't know. More keep showing up, some leave. I guess that's how it is. It's just gonna be a waiting game, like I said. Gotta be patient. Got to be patient today. One team that is staying true to how they caught their fish on day one are James Willoughby and Chance Schwartz from number one ranked Montevallo. They're catching them slow and steady. A fish an hour, they're not loading the boat, but they're hanging in there. And they're seeing all these other boats leave, other boats come in, but they're staying true to their game plan. When you're in a position like them, when you're leading a tournament, add on the top of that that you're leading the school of the year race. What is going through their minds right now? You know, they probably secured points already for the team by weighing in almost 25 pounds yes. on day one, but now to get that win, that could mean a lot towards the end of the season rankings when this is all said and done. Having confidence in what you're doing is a big thing when it comes to tournament fishing. And the thing I've noticed, noticed and learned over the years is that you think of the guy that caught 24, 25 pounds, of, man, they, they crushed him. They caught 50, 60, 70 fish. Well, that's not often the case. They may have only got five bites all day long. And in the case of what these guys are doing, catching one fish an hour, catching those quality fish is how you win. Staying true to that and understanding that, and that comes with experience uh, on a body of water like this, we're in a similar situation. I'm just hoping we can get a little flurry right before the end, catch a good one, get a good bag. I'm not comfortable with what we got right now. We got like 16, 66, or 96, something like that. I don't know, so we'll see. I guess it just really depends on how people caught them, other, how other people caught them that did good. Big smallmouth. Yeah. Big. God. That's a big one. It's a big one. Hey, we've been asking for that for a long time. <laughs> I don't think so. Go left, go left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> Probably gonna have over 20. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. How big's that one? Six? <laughs> nah, four. Huh? Four and a quarter. What do we got now, bud? 20, 40. Oh, finally got one of the bites we've been looking for. Another big fish, another four pounder. I go a long ways. Took us all day to catch it, but I think it may be finally coming together. Next, on this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we head back to McFarland Park in Florence, Alabama to bring you weigh-in coverage and crown a winner of the 2021 Pickwick Slam. Don't go away. Born in Japan, FC Sniper became the number one fluorocarbon line in the Japanese market. It transitioned to the U.S. in the early 2000s and continues to grow in prominence with anglers. FC Sniper is the flagship product in the American market and bestseller. It features the perfect blend of abrasion resistance, low memory, and tensile strength. FC Sniper is offered in pound tests that range from 2 pound to 30 pound and in spool sizes up to 1,200 yards. FC Sniper has the strength to guarantee your confidence. If you love fishing, you never stop thinking about the next time you'll hit the water. We're right there with you here at Secret Lures. Whether you're toughing out frigid winter weather up north or enjoying sunny bluebird skies down south, developing and producing the best kinds of bait and tackle that lead you to success is a year-round passion for us. 
Visit SecretLures.com to fill your tackle box with everything you'll need to conquer the waters all year long. Pickwick, I mean, it's a blessing from God to have this, you know, God-made creation here in our hometown, right in our backyard, and it does a tremendous um, amount for our tourism industry. Uh, it brings people from all across the world here to town, and we're very thankful for that, and um, we let it do its job, and our job is to make sure that everyone, when they do come see Pickwick, they see the rest of the Shoals area, and we feel like when they do go out and see our area that they are very satisfied and very happy and hopefully each and every year when you guys come back it makes you all want to come back the year after that. We've heard it every year when the tournament's done and we're talking to an angler from UNA that finished in the top five at the tournament and they say that they're just happy to be able to showcase the lake and they wish they could have every tournament there which I'm sure they would like to do that but this is an awesome place to come to and to be able to put it on the map and show what Pickwick Lake and Florence Alabama is all about is why we're here this week. Uh, there's no question I mean Pickwick's been a great home we've talked about that before and in the past in many episodes we love to come here because the town rolls out the red carpet there's quality hotels for the anglers plenty of places to Eat. Great fishery. You can never, you know, underestimate how important that is for hosting events. And we will be back many times because the fish are going to bite, the college kids want to come here, and the town wants to, to build that relationship. Good bag of fish today, 21.98. You guys have 38.83 overall for the tournament, 17.51. Two-day total, 31.16. New leaders from Blue Mountain College, 38.89. 38.89 for the weekend. Fisher Young and Fisher Overton from 7th ranked Blue Mountain College set the mark to beat early with a two day total of 38.99 pounds. This is our home lake. We know some stuff that these fish do that nobody else other knows. So I mean we capitalized on day one and we left them biting and when we come back today it was a little tougher but I mean we grinded it out and got a few right bites and ended up landing us where we are right now. Jury University Brock and Jack had 21.50 yesterday. Gonna need 17.50 to take the lead. What do y'all think, guys? You can have it. Let's see. It is close, but you've got it. 18.65. Two day total, 40.15. Brock Bila and Jack Rainkin from 8th ranked Drury University are the first team to eclipse the 40 pound mark for a two day total of 40.15 pounds. It was a lot tougher than yesterday. We were in the same two general areas. We did a lot of shallow, less than six foot of fishing. And yesterday that front came through and got our fish to bite. But today there was no front and bluebird, bluebird skies. So it was just a tough day and we had to grind it out. We're gonna need 1520, need 1520 to take the win. Are we gonna do it? What do you think? They're hoping so, let's see. Easy money, 2046 for the weekend. 45-42, 45-42, pull those out, stand right back here and hold them up for a picture, guys. Great job, James Willoughby and Chance Schwartz from the University of Montevallo. And when the scales close, James Willoughby and Chance Schwartz from top-ranked University of Montevallo win the 2021 Pickwick Slam with a two-day total of 45.42 pounds. That first place victory nets them $1,000 in Bass Pro Shops gift cards, two Hydrowave H2 units, two ACA custom buffs, a $200 raffle up prize package, and a 13 fishing prize package. Along with the valuable prizes and gift cards, the victory earns Montevallo 1,000 points towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year, presented by Ivan Garcia. Oh yeah, there's a lot at stake as far as School of the Year goes, because we've been leading it all year, but kind of after the last few weeks, it's leads dwindled a lot. It was big at one point, but now it's getting small, so hopefully we can get back up there and stay on top throughout the rest of the year. Following the Pickwick Slam, Here's a look at the standings in the School of the Year race. Montevallo is in first place. Two-time defending School of the Year winner McKendree University is in second. And Murray State is in third, more than 2,000 points behind first place. The Pickwick Slam is the final ACA double points event before the championship in just over a month.
And with that, we'll wrap up this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and our coverage of the 2021 Pickwick Slam. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This has been a Careco TV production. TH Marine has been producing top-of-the-line marine accessories to rig boats from transom to trolling motor for decades. From jack plates to fish care to LEDs, TH Marine has you covered. TH Marine, outfitting your boat from transom to trolling motor. The lightest rod ever built. All new nano carbon technology, 25% more casting distance, digitally controlled braking, incredible sensitivity, magnetically sealed components, micro computer monitor more sensitive, speed. Than tournament ever. step up, ultra fast the only rod for your new boat. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24 7. Visit boatus.com. Hey, three key rods that played a great deal in my success this year on the Bass Pro Tour Trail was the seven foot four multi-spin spinning rod in our lithium series. Another rod that I used a lot this year was our seven foot two Covart heavy action rod. Last but not least is our lithium 884 in heavy action. So check them out. Denali rods, I think you'll be happy with the success you receive from them. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Engel Coolers, the original high performance cooler. We don't have a large laboratory to test baits. Why, you ask? We don't need a big laboratory because our pros fish, our employees fish, our owners fish, and our kids fish. This is our laboratory. Our R&D comes from time on the water. All that time on the water brings us thousands of hours of testing new products and improving current ones for all species. Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line.
felt so free. Can't get you off my mind. You're such a part of me. We're gonna fly so high. There's just so much to see. You make me come alive. I never felt so free.